Hey everyone, it is Andrea and today I am coming at you with my tier ranking of all of the games that we played in 2023, which is quite a lot as you can see from the selection here. I hope you have a drink, a snack, all the things. I have myself a little water and I am ready to go. I'm gonna make some tough decisions here and I'm kind of nervous because we've played like 100 plus games this year and have over 500 plays. So let's go ahead and figure this out. First things first is we played Candyland. We played this with my five-year-old at the time. He's six now. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in don't waste your money if you're being realistic. For a kid, it's fine. But otherwise, no. Forbidden Jungle. So I feel like I need to like look and see where Forbidden Desert is because I feel like those are kind of like going to be paired similarly, but I'd say Forbidden Jungle, I liked a little bit less than Forbidden Desert. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this one was, I feel like it's like in the middle of so fun and fun and eh, it's just okay, because I feel like the Forbidden Desert isn't an all time fave. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I say they're both so fun. Let's say they're both so fun. But I'd say definitely between Forbidden Jungle and Forbidden, Forbidden Desert, I like Forbidden Desert better. Here to Slay, so fun. Horrified, I'll say, so fun. Turf War, I'm actually going to say that this is an all-time fave, simply because it, for how small the game is, it packs such a punch. And I love the little, like, Halloween expansion, so I'm going to leave that one in the all-time fave. Trash Pandas, I'm going to say... It's fine, but not for me. I don't think it's like horrible, but it's just not my vibes. Then we have Viticulture. I'm gonna put Viticulture in an all-time fave. I don't play it as much as I wish that we played it, but it is super fun. I have the expansion, so we're gonna be bringing it out soon to play that. The next one is the Catan Dice Game, and I'm gonna put that under Don't Waste Your Money. I feel like it reminds me of like games that my grandma would play that were just like super super simple like maybe too simple but maybe if you're playing solo I don't know it just it wasn't for me don't waste your money kind of situation there the next one is on tour I'm trying to remember I feel like on tour welcome to like all like they all kind of blend together for me but I think that this is the one where you like write in the numbers and then connect them it's like fun but it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna just put that under it. Eh, it's just okay. I feel like it's a little bit better than that, but not like, it's not slaying the game here. The next one is Five Minute Dungeon. That one is really, really fun, very fast paced, kind of stressful, but it's cooperative, so that's fun as well. Fog of Love, I'm gonna put under eh, just okay. It felt a little gimmicky and party gamey to me. Like there is, like it's a lot of like, it's like for fun feeling. It feels like a for fun game where you're just kind of like being silly and there is a little bit that you're working towards, but it's, I don't know. I like it, but I feel like, especially since playing Pursuit of Happiness, when it comes to like kind of like a like life simulation game, I think that I like that one better. So I'd play it again because obviously Hannah will want to play it again, but it's not my favorite. And the same thing goes with Casting Shadows. I actually have this like on the way. I did pre-order it with um, the newest Unstable Unicorn, is it Unstable? Unstable Games? Like they have a, I don't know, they had a Kickstarter or something. And I bought it just to say that I had it. And I don't know, I only played it once. So I feel like it's hard for me to like really say, but I'm gonna put it in eh, just okay for now. But it felt like a lot of like chasing each other around aimlessly with no like, further development might be one that maybe if there's like an expansion it would get better the next one is herd immunity is that not her herd immunity herd mentality I can't read I'm old um this one was so fun for a party game I love this one and they have expansions which is really nice this was one that we were all like cackling laughing so I feel like party games of the year this one might be my favorite the next one was the Avatar, I don't remember what this one's called, Avatar Crossroads of Destiny game. This is one of Hannah's games and I played it because she loves Avatar. I would say eh, it's just okay. It wasn't, it's like, kind. it was like, it was fine. It was fine. It's not a theme for me, so I feel like it's hard for me to like rate it, but if you love Avatar, you probably will love the game. I feel like it's like well done, but it's just not for me. Eh, actually gonna put that under fine, but not for me. I feel like, I don't know. I wish that maybe this one was like called, can I edit this? Good. 
yeah, let's do that. And let's go ahead and move those ones. Okay, so I'm going to stick to this. All-time fave, so fun, good. But not great. And fine, but not for me. And don't waste your money. Those are my new categories because I feel like I needed like an in-between kind of situation. The next one is the Uzzle. I feel like this would be a good kids game and like a good like if you were drunk party game because it's mostly like dexterity. Um, so for that, I'm going to go ahead and put it in fine, but not for me. But I feel like there is an audience for this and I feel like I, I have it and I put it in my kids game because I feel like my kids would really like it in the future. The next one is fun facts. We really like this one. So I'm going to put that one under so fun. I feel like as far as party games go, it's a under herd immunity, but it's above a lot of the other party games. It's basically like kind of guessing like where you are on the scale of other people in specific categories, which I liked. My City, Roll and Build. I'm going to put that one in to my all-time faves for now. I might weed through these in the end because I feel like I'm like, I think My City would be an all-time fave. I feel like, let's put the Roll and Build under so fun. It makes me feel so excited inside because it reminds me so much of My City. But I don't think it's like a fave of all time. Like I'm not going to be like itching to play it again. Whereas I will play my city like the campaign again. The next one is One Deck Dungeon, which was bizarrely hard. And I feel like it deserves like some recognition for how small this box is. It's like this big and it packs a punch and it's quite tricky. I really want to try playing this one player because I think that on BGG it is like that's the like most suggested play count person card you know so I'm gonna put this one in good I don't know I'm gonna put it under so fun just because it's like it was kind of fun how tricky it was the next one is the Chippendale Christmas treasures just put this one because it was Christmas time I'm gonna put this one in fine but not for me the IP of Disney is always going to be a like a winner for me if we're being honest but it wasn't like it didn't change change my life at all seven wonders duel i'm gonna put under so fun i like seven wonders duel more than i like seven wonders but duel is obviously just for two people we end up getting the regular seven wonders to the table more often and nick and chris both really like seven wonders so i'm gonna put seven wonders duel in so fun um the stella uh dixit this is the like I think the Disney one should be like down further, which I did like that one. I'm going to put this one under fine, but not for me. I like the Disney one loads better, probably because it's Disney. I feel like if it wasn't Disney, I probably wouldn't like it. But this one, I just felt like, especially with you having to follow the prompts that they give you. Basically, it's a card game where there's like different prompts that you draw and then you like have to lay a card out from your hand that you think fits the prompt. And it just gets a little tricky, I think, especially with how like abstract a lot of the cards are. But the Disney one, you say your own prompt. And I think that that is a little bit more fun. Plus, it's also Disney. Then there's Truffle Shuffle, which is, I would say, under good, but not great. Simply because I have not wanted to play it again. But it's super cute. And it was pretty fun. It kind of reminded me of Seven Wonders Duel with like the like card placement. But super cute. I don't remember if this goes up to, I think it goes over two players. It might be better with more players. The next one is priorities. I'm going to put priorities into so fun. I will say though, it's one of those party games. I feel like you really can't play too many times with the same group of people because you end up starting to realize like what everyone's answers would be. Um, so for that, I'm going to put it under so fun and not all time fave. And then Tea Dragon Society. I'm gonna put this one under don't waste your money. I actually got rid of this game, but I also don't well actually what was this game? Was it like it wasn't trick taking, was it? No, it was like was it deck building, but like at the most basic of like terms and then also maybe there was push your luck. I don't remember, but I did not like it. The next one is Tic Tac KO. I'm gonna put that under good but not great. I'd play it if somebody asked. But I'm like looking at it up there. But I think it'd be more almost like a like a teen game for me, like a tween teen game, because it is just like tic tac toe, but like a little bit more intense. I would play it, but it's not my favorite. The next one is Disney's Animated, and I'm actually gonna put that one in all time fave, which I did not think this would be an all time fave, but it is so fun. It's a cooperative game. It's Disney, so it has that, and I just have been pretty impressed with like the Funko. This is Funko, right? 
I believe it is Funko Games and I've considered purchasing this one for myself and I'm hoping that they make more movies like in the universe that you can like mix and match. I think that'd be really fun and totally doable. The next one is Maui. I'm going to go ahead and put that one under Don't Waste Your Money. I did get rid of this game. It was kind of boring, nothing spectacular. Um, the next is the Tic Tac KO. This is the Cute versus Evil. The other one is dragons versus unicorns. They're both the same thing, basically. Pick one or the other. Don't buy them both. The next one is super mega, super mega lucky box. I'm going to put this one under good, not great. And there's nothing wrong with this game. It's just not like thrilling. It's like fun if you are playing games with somebody who's like not super into board games and it's kind of like bingo, basically. It'd be a great one to play with like, again, like the tween, like kind of like maybe even like, I'm going to say eight to like 16 like in that range and up would be good or like maybe even older family members might like this because it's like very it's very simple very bingo it's fun though but I'm gonna say it's good but not great you know what I'm saying the next one is wizard kittens this one I'm also gonna put in good not great but we did well we didn't Hannah bought me the expansion for Christmas and it actually brings it up to five players and whenever me and Hannah played it I felt like it was kind of boring there's like some take that aspects to it that I feel like is hard with two players so I'm excited to play this with more players and it has the possibility to maybe move up the graphics are so cute I love like the tarot card-esque kind of vibes of this but as of right now it's under good not great uh the next one is dungeon mayhem I'm gonna put this one under so fun because it's another one that's in such a small box it packs such a fun punch it's quick games if you're traveling it's perfect they have um expansions which I recently got they're up you can't see them. Maybe you can. Actually, it's right, right there. The um, Dungeon Mayhem Monsters and then another expansion. And then we also got, well, I got Nick the Marvel one, which I think is fun. I think this is great. Perfect for anybody. Love the Dungeons and Dragons theme and I would recommend it highly. And me, I've probably played this game a bazillion times. I don't even think I logged all of my plays because it's just perfect for travel, quick little games, and it's easy. The next one is Dice Throne. I'm just going to go ahead and most of the Dice Throne, I don't have, I love Dice Throne so much. That's where we're going to start with. But I don't have like a favorite Dice Throne. I just love them all basically equally. I would say like Scarlet Witch is my favorite just because that's who I played a lot in the beginning. But otherwise, I would just say they're all under so fun because I feel like if I put all dice thrown under all time fave, that's just kind of extra. But I do have one that's like spectacular to my heart and maybe I'll put Scarlet Witch in there. We'll see when we get there. Next one, Seven Wonders. I would say it's good, not great. Like I like it because it's a quick game. We get to the table with a lot of people. It's super easy to explain, but it's not like my favorite thing ever. The next one is Head Trip. I'm going to put this under Don't Waste Your Money. I was so annoyed with this game. We were actually sent it from um, Cards Against Humanity, which was really, really cool and fun in itself. But I did not like this game. And I like Cards Against Humanity. I like the raunchiness of it. I think it's fun as like a party game to bring out a couple times a year. Or if there's like a large group of people, I love how many expansions and like more stuff there is. But Head Trip was horrible. It was not good. Maybe if you're kind of like quirky slash your humor is just different. But I don't really think anyone really liked it that much from our game group. And I feel like we have a variety of different like humor types. But I feel like Head Trip was just, it just missed the mark. I feel like there was good parts to it. But when it was all put together, it was too random and not like the pairs of like different it's hard to explain. The pairs of like different cards just didn't make sense. I think we have a review up on BG Girlies if you want to check out. I think a lot of these are reviewed, honestly. So you can always look and see closer. Next one is Dice Run. I think this is Moon Elf versus Barbarian. This one I'm actually going to put in the good and not great because whenever me and I played it the first time, it took us forever because it's basically like a heal damage heal damage back and forth so it was it's actually probably my least favorite combination i have i'm taking things back we will get to more dice from them but that is the one of my least favorite ones it's good but not great it's one of those ones that i don't think i want to play as a pair but like pulling them out and playing the different characters with other characters is fine chomp i'm gonna put in that it was fine but not for me it's kind of unmemorable there's very few games that i feel like i don't really remember the gameplay and we played this one kind of recently, so that's kind of 
rough. I'm also fearing that I'm not actually screen recording and all of this will have been for nothing, but hopefully we are on the right track. Scythe, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in so fun. I really do like Scythe. I wanna say that it's an all-time fave, but I feel like I'm the only person who ever really wants to play it and it is a very uh, intimidating game as far as like there's a lot of stuff going on and Hannah hates it so it's kind of hard to get to the table um but I do really want to play Expeditions I have it and also the Scythe Expansions I think I have um the Ferris one somewhere but yeah Far Shore I liked Far Shore more than Everdell sue me I don't know I liked it I think it's pretty fun I'm gonna put it under so fun I'd play it Hannah hates it but here we are um Ten Penny Parks I would say that this one is in between don't waste your money and fine but not for me I did not like it at all I thought it just felt very like boring and like too easy so I was like maybe it'd be better for kids but I don't know caper I really love the quality of this game. I feel like all of Keymaster games are so nice. The art's so good. But I actually got rid of Caper because, I don't know, I just, I didn't, I didn't ever vibe with it. I really wanted to like the game, but I didn't love it. So I'm going to put it under fine, but not for me because I do think it's like a fine game. It's just not my vibes. It's a very like back and forth two player only game. Then we have Nuck Tats. I'm gonna put this one under good but not great it's another one I feel like if you played a lot of times it'd be hard to like come up with new ideas and some of them are a little bit tricky um but I think it's like a cute concept and very like different than most games I've seen so I'm gonna put that under good not great the next one is villainous and I have like a love-hate relationship with villainous I feel like sometimes I just like my eyes glaze over and I'm like what am I doing here what do, what, am I, what do I need to be doing? The only one I ever enjoyed playing was Corella. So I'm going to put it in, I'm going to put the Star Wars one in fine, but not for me. I don't even remember if we finished playing this game, if I'm being honest with you. I think we were all just like, nah. Nasty things, I'm going to put in good, not great. It's another party game. We've had a blast, but also under the influence. So it's hard to be able to tell if it's good or bad. Um, Sagrada, I'm also going to put in um good not great I think it's a really pretty game I like the puzzliness but I just feel like it is like kind of quick I do want to play it again soon with my friend Amanda because I think that she will like it but overall good but not great the next one is crew um deep or mission deep sea um I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in uh fine but not for me we didn't play too much of this but I'm not really into it's like trick taking cooperative kind of game. I don't know. It's not my vibe. The next one is Point City, and I did not like Point City. So I'm gonna put it actually in Don't Waste Your Money. I did not like it at all. I was really excited because I do like Point Salad. I'm like looking up at my games. I like Point Salad, but I feel like Point City just didn't give me what I wanted. It was like a little bit too much going on for how simple of a game it is. I preferred the like mechanics and point salad the next one is everdell pearl book i actually did not play this game so um or did i play this game i might have played this game i don't remember so i'm gonna put it under don't waste your money because it's unmemorable to me happy little dinosaurs i'm also gonna put in under don't waste your money it's basically a game of war I got rid of this game I was gonna keep it for like my kids but even then I was like I don't really even want to play it and I have like the expansions and I just put them into the bin of I don't want you anymore the mole is under good not great simply because I feel like it's hard another one like party type games where it's hard to play like over and over again but we have had a lot of good laughs with it and so that's like surprising I think because it's kind of like a like hidden trader kind of game and you have to kind of figure out like where what's who's the hidden trader um I do like it I personally don't want to play it but if others want to play it like it's a good time the next one is cover your assets I'm gonna put this one under don't waste your money because I think cover your cookies is like the better version of it I think cover your cookies is cuter and has a little bit more going on like a little bit more so I would say if you're if you're really like think that you really need one get cover your cookies over cover your assets in my opinion unless you really like the theme of cover your assets which is like stuff I don't know cookies are cuter in my opinion he 
all time fave baby i think he is so fun worth the hype we've played some games that are just not worth the hype which we will get into controversial times ahead but he worth the hype i love it it's so so fun i love the push your luck aspect of it it's really fun to kind of like see what else everyone everyone else is doing because i feel like some games you're just like i don't really care about what everyone else is doing so i'm gonna sit here for three minutes waiting for everyone aka tony to go this one is like oh i wonder what's gonna happen i wonder what the, what's gonna happen to them what's gonna happen to me and i love it i think it's so fun we haven't even played any of the modules and i think that that is like really telling that like the base 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 game is so good so he worth the hype i don't really like cars or anything but it's so good next one is food fight i'm gonna put this one under good but not great simply because i'm sick of playing it i like it but it's not like changing my life i think it's cute especially for kids or like again that like teen kind of vibe family type energy very cute love disney obviously but i personally would not pick to play i think that's kind of what the good but not great is is like i really don't want to play them but like they're good objectively next one is kites i'm gonna say kites is don't waste your money simply because i got rid of it and it just wasn't fun no one had fun playing it so it's very like stressful and like not fun stressful and not fun that's what we're going with i don't know what this game is the Grimwood. I don't remember playing that, so I'm gonna put it under "Don't waste your money" because I don't remember playing it. I might have not played it. Namalia. I really loved. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's another one that I feel like for the size of the box, it packs like a cute little punch. So I'm gonna put that under "So Fun." Actually, it's kind of like cool combo-y. I would say it's definitely like not one that I'm like grabbing for all the time, but if we're traveling, it's one of the options that I like to pull out because it's a small box, but it. It does some good stuff. Then we have Welcome To. I think Welcome To is pretty fun, but I personally don't like, like, I'm not like, I want to play Welcome To. I think it goes up to a little bit of higher player count, so we bring it out whenever we have more people. Um, It's fun. It is a flippin' right, which I think this might be one of my favorites of the flippin' rights. But again, um, it's not, it's not, it's not knocking my socks off. The next one is Wonder Woods. I'm gonna put that under Don't Waste Your Money because I did get rid of it. I did not like it. I thought it was boring. It might have been better with more people, but I just don't know. Caruso Crew, I'm gonna put in so fun. I really loved it. It's kind of tricky. It says that it's made for like younger kids, but I just don't think. Like it was kind of hard for us, but it's a fun little four player or less uh, like adventure book game. And I really enjoy myself playing it. And I have the Sherlock Holmes one and I'm very excited to play that one as well. And you could kind of go back and do more missions. I think we have a couple more to do. Then I don't know what this one is either. Mind space. Okay, this one, the most annoying part about this one was the dry weight race markers. They did not come off. They would not come off or anything. I'm going to go into fine, but not for me because I think it was like, it's a cute concept if you've never played like a roll a roll and draw or was that what it's called then it might be cute but I just I like other games better betrayal I'm gonna go ahead and put this under so fun betrayal is another one that I'm kind of getting bored of simply because of how many times that we've played it um and I think it's I had fun I had a lot of fun I would say in the beginning of the year it was definitely would have been an all-time fave but I feel like I just it I feel like it's getting repetitive we probably played it over I feel like at least five plus plus times um I would say it's just so fun it was an all-time fave prior I would say but it is like a game group favorite so I don't think that one's going to be leaving us anytime soon the next one's Fox in the Forest I don't like trick-taking games so we're gonna put that in don't waste your money the next one is my little Everdell and I'm gonna put this one in so fun I think it's so cute for like a kid's game and it has like a like a little taste of Everdell um uh mechanics without being too complicated and like it would be good for like a younger younger squad the next one is junk drawer which I'm also gonna put in here are these supposed to be in order then am I doing this all wrong maybe we'll go in maybe I should put them in order like in here right besides like maybe these two maybe I'll put these ones in order so I'm gonna do this we're gonna put those in order and then maybe we'll just put all-time faves in order because I don't feel like going through the so fun ones I don't know what Hannah did I didn't watch her video yet but maybe we should okay Scythe would definitely be at the top 
don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. If I'm no, this is too much work. We should have did this from the beginning. We'll put all time faves in order. Should I put all time faves in order? No, maybe because we're gonna be doing a yearly review. So let's just mix them back up. We're not gonna. We'll go through a yearly review later. Okay. So the next one is the Disney Life game. I'm gonna put that in. Don't waste your money. Honestly, I love Disney, but like these, like life and stuff, it's just not the vibe. It's not the vibe. I'm already uncomfortable. Let me get a little stretch. Okay, the next one is Catan Rivals. I'm gonna put this one in um fine, but not for me. I still have it. I wanna play it some more, but I don't think it's ever going to be like a all-time favorite of mine. It's I prefer regular Catan, and even that, I barely prefer regular Catan. The next one here is Sorcerer's Arena, and I'm going to put this one in good, but not great. I feel like it has, like, dice thrown vibes because you're, like, battling each other. There's a lot more going on on the board, but I love, like, a Disney IP, so we're going to put it under good, not great. The next one is Dog Park, which I've only played two players, so it's hard, but I have been told that it's better with more players because of the, like, bidding I think there's bidding aspect to it so I'm gonna put this one in fine but not for me for right now but I feel like this one could go up to good not great good but not great the next one is wrong party and I hated this game I was so mad while playing this game so I'm gonna put that one in don't waste your money the next one is dumb ways to die and this one I thought was like it's like cute like the graphics are cute and it was like a fine game so I'm going to put this one in good, not great. The next one is Four Shuffle. <sighs> it's really hard because I've played Four Shuffle so many times. Obviously not as much as Hannah. But I feel like it's another game that I'm kind of getting sick of. But I feel like because of the epicness of how many times and how much love went into it for me this year, I'm going to go ahead and put it in all-time fave. Then we have Robin Hood, which we only played like the first like little storyline. Or maybe it was like two technically. But I'm going to put this one in good but not great for now. It's like a very impressive game, but I think it's because I don't want to like, I'm not like, let's play this right now. Like the other ones up here, I'm like, oh, I'd play this anytime kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? Then we have, um, I found it, the Disney edition, and I really like this one. I think for what it is for like a kid's game, I'd say it's good but not great. Like, it was fun. I played with my six-year-old. He really enjoyed it and it was cute. So we're going to put it under good but not great. Um, this dice throw I'm going to go ahead and put under so fun. Nothing sticking out as far as it being bad or like my favorite one. The next one is the uh, Cards Against Humanities 100th Anniversary Box. I'm going to put this one under good but not great. I didn't like the cards. They got really smudgy. Just throwing it out there. I'd rather just play the regular black, a big black box. Um... The next one is Horticulture, which is a flip and draw. This one I'm going to put in fine, but not for me. I actually put this into my D-stash pile as well. The next one is Betrayal of Boulder's Gate. I'm going to say this one is so fun. I'm going to keep it in there because, again, it's not a game that I, re I don't really want to play Betrayal right now or Horrified. Oh, wait. Did I? No, okay. I don't really want to play Betrayal, Horrified. Like, they're all kind of similar situations. I actually would want to play Horrified more than Betrayal at this point because... I feel like we just played Betrayal too much. But I would say that, like, this one I liked more than regular Betrayal because it has, like, the D&D &D theme. Risk, Strike, I'm going to put in Fine, but not for me. It was, like, Fine, but not for me. Off Topic, this one I'm going to put in um, Good, but not Great. It's just, like, a party game. The next one is The Great American Mail Race. Didn't like this one. I'm going to put that under Don't Waste Your Money. Patchwork Valentine, I'm going to put this one in good but not great I feel like Patchwork's just like a cute little tile placement kind of puzzly game it's just it's nothing to like really call home about but it's cute next one is Azul's Queen's Garden and I'm gonna put this one under all-time fave I really do like this I'm not even like really good at it but I love the tiles it's like a it's like a real deep thing for me like the the how like they sound and feel and then like the puzzliness of this I loved it Alice's Garden this is a, another tile placement game and this one was actually really fun so I'm gonna put this one under so fun it was better than I thought I love the theme it's adorable the next one is Disney Dixit I'm gonna put that under good but not great I think that I like it more than like the Stella Dixit the one that we talked about before but 
it's another one that I don't really want to play, but it's great if we have other people over. It's very simple. The graphics are beautiful. I just want to like hang them all over my wall. The next one is Dice Veggies. I'm gonna put this one under Sofa, and I really like this one a lot. It honestly, most like could even go into an all-time fave for being like a simple game. I really think I like the like food theme games. Um, Draftosaurus, I actually got rid of, but I'm gonna put this one under Fine, but not for me. I feel like this is this list is getting long. Azul uh, Chocolate Tear Chocolate Edition. I don't know is adorable let me just tell you but i'm so sick of azul so i'm gonna put this under good but not great veridin i'm gonna put this under good but not great it's just like fine rival restaurants i might put under all-time fave i think it's so fun i love how like interactive the game is like you're really just like having fun with everybody kind of like trying to like bargain and bid and all kinds of stuff so i liked that one it's just it's a very fun game to play and I I request for it to come to the table a lot. Uh, Dungeons, Dice, and Danger. I'm also going to put in an all-time fave. We played this game so many times. As far as a roll and draw, is a roll and draw, a roll and draw, like, is that what the term is? Because I feel like it sounds wrong every time I've said it. it, is my favorite one. I love the theme of it being dragons and dungeons, dungeons and dragons. And we've taken it traveling every time, and it is all-time fave. Jurassic Park Unmatched. I'm gonna put this one under so fun. I had a lot of fun playing it. It is like a, is it like deck building, I believe? And it was pretty fun. Um, I love the miniatures, I think they're very cute. Get on board. This one was the one where you have these sticks. It kind of feels Ticket to Ride-y to me. I do like it t better than Ticket to Ride, but I'm gonna put it under good, but not great. Happy City, I'm also gonna put in there. I think that it's a really fun, cute little like card game. Um, but it's not something that I've played very often or reach for. The next one is Agricola. I would say Agricola goes into so fun. It's it's really good. Um, it's like a farming game, which I love that theme as well. We're gonna put Ark Nova into all time faves. We don't need to talk about it. We just know it. If you don't like Ark Nova, I just think you might be wrong. Just like Ark Nova's best. Artisans of Splendid Vale, we're also gonna put into all time fave. We've only played like three, I think, sessions of this, and it is so so incredible and it is just beautiful the quality is amazing it's a little like the instructions are kind of not they're to be desired but otherwise I love it next one is dice room this is I believe the samurai and is it samurai and gunslinger maybe this one I will say I really do like playing as gunslinger so I'm gonna put this in all-time fave I like the different like role and like you have to like compare the stats of the roles of the two people. It's fun. Orkana we're also going to put in an all-time fave as well as Distilled. Distilled is a banger. Another one that everyone loves to play. Um, we actually need to get Distilled to the table as a two-player game again because it's it's a little bit draggy when you have multiple people. Cascadia I'm gonna put in also as an all-time fave because it's just a banger for what it is I love games where it's like tile placement or like any kind of placement and then you have like cards that you're trying to like accomplish I can't think of like words right now like rule sets I guess I don't know or like uh you know what I'm talking about I love it and they change up I think that makes the game really fun like kind of like tiny towns like objectives objectives that's it queen by midnight also putting it in all-time fave this game gets heated it gets heated but it's so fun so good so great also azul summer pavilion i'm also gonna put that into all-time fave i think it's like an easier version of queen's garden you have to think a little bit less but still really fun love those tiles tapple i'm gonna put into don't waste your money i just didn't like it like i feel i see people on like instagram playing it and i'm like oh this looks so fun and I was like, nah. Um, Explaining Kittens, the two-player game. I'm going to put this into good, not great, because it it's like a quick little thing. I don't like Exploding Kittens, like, for all of us. But as a two-player game for travel, it's fine. I will put it in our pack every once in a while. Then Stack and Stuff, um, it's like a patchwork game. I'm going to put this in Don't Waste Your... Or no, I'm going to put this in fine, but not for me. I did save this one and put it in my, like, kids game section, because I feel like that's kind of where I'm thinking it belongs. The next one is the Dice Throne Marvel, the four-player box. It has Scarlet, which it has Thor, Loki, and Spider-Man. I hate the Loki character. He's annoying. We're going to put this into all-time favorites because I love Scarlet Witch. She's super easy, but she is my OG gal. 
Then I'm going to put Final Girl into So Fun. I only played it once so far. I actually have it sitting right here because I got it for Christmas. We played it at Gen Con and I will say that the person who taught him to play it, it was very confusing. But I love the concept. It kind of feels like horrified but for one player. That's how my, that's how my brain categorizes it. The next one is Forbidden Desert. Again, I believe that that one goes into So Fun. I do like it more than Forbidden Jungle. That's my categorization of that. Uh, Kabuto Sumo, I will put this into Good Not Great. I do like it. I only like it at two players. I do not like it at three or four players. Not good. Two players, it's cute. Nice Xeri game would be a good one to bring out when the kids are a little bit older. Then I'm moving to Villainous. This one I'm going to put into So Fun because I'm pretty sure that this is the one that Cruella de Vil is in and I actually liked playing as that character. It was a little bit simpler than the Star Wars one. I feel like sometimes the villainous characters, I'm just like, there's so many things going on that are so weird and I don't know what I'm doing. But I like the more base parts of the game. Unstable Unicorns, we're going to go ahead and put this into So Fun. If you would ask me in the beginning of the year, I probably would have put this in all-time fave. But I think it's another one that I'm kind of bored of playing it, but it's, it's a good time. Everdell, I'm going to put this into Good Not Great, simply because I do like Far Shore better. I think there's more going on. And there's less text on the card. That's where I'm at. That's 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 the situation there. And I just feel like Everdell, I don't know. I think another part of it is like how tiny everything is. And like there's those little tiny holes with like the characters in it. And I don't ever remember those because they're about the size of a mini M&M. The next one is the, is this Black Panther and... Captain Marvel, we're gonna put this one into So Fun, Catan, I'm gonna put that one into Good Not Great, we played it two nights ago, and I don't think anyone was like really like, we were like having a good time, but like not, we don't want to play it again anytime soon. Um, Joking Hazard, Don't Waste Your Money, I didn't like that game, never have I ever, I don't really remember it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in Don't Waste Your Money. We're getting to the end, or is there more? No, okay. Whew, we need a drink break. Okie dokie. All right, so then we have, who is this one? Uh, who is that? Is that, I don't know. Oh, Black Widow. We'll put it into so fun. Um, trails, I'm gonna put that into good, not great. It was another one that I really liked in the beginning, but I just found that I don't, like, I'm not reaching for it. I will bring it out if it's, like, a new person playing games, if I think that they'll like the game. The Isle of Cats, okay. So this is, like, a newer to us game, and we've kind of, like, shied away from getting it simply because the cats are kind of spooky, and me and Hannah both hate cats. But this game was so fun, and it was a little long with our game group of five, but, and I had to buy, like, the expansion, but it was a good time and I'm going to put that in an all-time fave. And I, I, if, if you ask me what I want to play next week, if I could pick any game, I might actually pick the Isle of Cats. It was very, very fun. Hurry up chicken butt. I'm going to put it in good, not great. It was a good time with my six-year-old, but other than that, like it's good for, it's good for kids. That's what it's made for. I would say, I, you know, I'm going to put it in so fun. We did really have a hoot and holler time with that one. Then we have Splendor. I'm going to put it into good, not great, just simply because it's Splendor. It's kind of boring. I like Splendor Duel better. Pokemon TCG game. I'm gonna put that all the way up in the all-time faves. Um, Gloomhaven Draws a Lion. I did not play, so I'm gonna put under Don't Waste Your Money, but like, I don't know, so don't, don't bother me. Um, Chameleon. Ugh, I'm gonna put this one in Don't Waste Your Money. I didn't like this game. I think I, I think it was mine that I got rid of it, question mark, possibly. Um, Above and Below. I'm gonna say fine, but not for me. I feel like I was like missing something. I don't know like it wasn't bad it wasn't good I'm excited to play like the other games in this like little series planted is another one that I'm going to say don't waste your money I didn't really like it the cards and stuff are really really beautiful but I didn't I don't want to play it revolver noir I also got rid of so I'm gonna say don't waste your money um earth I'm also gonna put into uh don't waste your money I hated earth I don't know if it was because it was so hyped up I was so excited when I found it and I even watched like how to plays prior and I was like oh this looks so fun when I played it I was bored out of my mind bored out of my mind it was so boring I did not like playing it I I was just like what like I just I hated it I hated it I know that that is a hot take but I, I don't like earth 
it's just I don't it's just not fun ingenious I'm gonna put this in good but not great Nick got this for me for our anniversary I believe last year it's like a tile placement game I love the tiles they're like a kind of like thinner plastic I just love like textile things um it's a cute little like tile placement puzzly like connect the shapes kind of thing it's cute um I will I'd play it at any time but it's just not like blowing my mind Flamecraft is another one fine but not for me I'm keeping it simply because like maybe they'll come out with an expansion that'll make it better I feel like it has such a good like like backbone it's just I feel like I wanted to have like a little bit more like if the um dragons had like a little bit different powers and stuff like that I just feel like it's like the same thing over and over and over again and it doesn't make for me wanting to like pick it up I would pull it out for like a resource management collection kind of game for somebody who didn't play a lot of games and wants to like get into it but otherwise it's just not for me and like I said the art the backbone of it all is really nice but I just I don't vibe with it um Lost Runs of Arnak I'm gonna put that one in too so fun I really do like it it's one of the few games I feel like whenever we've played like multiple times but whenever we sit down I'm like how do you play this game again there's like the board is like there's so much going on Mary Posis or whatever it's called um the butterfly game I'm gonna put that one under fine but not for me my little pony deck building game is so fun can't wait to play that one again super cute I don't really even care about my little pony but it was adorable my city we're putting it into all-time faves baby we love my city here in this house we will be playing it again soon we're gonna do my island first and then go back to my city we're very very excited to do that then is Azul Mini. We're going to go ahead and put in Azul Mini into... I'm going to put it into good but not great because I'm sick of playing it. But I do think it's like a really good game like to start somebody out with. And especially the mini. It comes with like the little boards to put everything in. I think that's great. Obsession, I'm going to put that one into so fun. We don't really get it to the table very often. I'm excited to play it with more expansions because I feel like it could be an all-time fave. Then Outrun the Bear. This one was so fun. I think for a, it's kind of like a take that-ish type game, but you can, I think, play it cooperative where you're trying to help each other out. Um, it's a fun game. I really liked it. I just think it's, I think it's a good time. Terraforming Mars, all-time fave. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. That's like one of the top ones of the year. Also really did like the um, Santa's Workshop. I do did buy the new version. It's like somewhere over here. Is it called Santa's Workshop? Pretty sure it is, right? I don't know where I put it. But anyways, it's a blast. This is the old version, but I did get the new version after I played it and I was like, oh my God, so good. Then Bargain Quest, I'm gonna put under fine, not for me. I love the theme of this game and I feel like it has another one that's like a good backbone, but I feel like it's missing something for me. Cartographers is fine, but not for me. I did get rid of it, but I see what the hype is. It does feel very much so like Cascadia or something like that because you have like the different objective cards, but I just, I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't vibe with it. Wingspan, I'm gonna put Wingspan into so fun. I just feel like it's a good like starter game and it's a game that I don't really get bored of. Along with Point Salad, I think that one's pretty fun as well. Parks, I'm gonna put into so fun. I do like it better than Trails, I think. But it's another one that I don't really reach for. But if somebody wanted to play it, I'd be like, okay, it's a very peaceful game and just kind of like chill. I like I found that I like more interactive kind of competitive games recently um taverns I would say is an all-time fave we're really having to scroll here now I think it is a very fun game it is nice because it's kind of fast paced with a lot of people for the most part with like the rolling and the swapping of the dice and stuff I really like it and I'm excited to play the expansion of that one uh kids quest is it one that I feel like would be good for younger kids but like I didn't it was like fine. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I, I think for kids it's really really cute and like a really cute concept but for me it is just fine. For kids I would recommend. Um, the parks it's like a memory game. I would say this is another one that is fine but not for me. I did put this in with my like kid game section of my storage. Fun fair I'm gonna put into so fun. I feel like as far as the like amusement park building games go this has been my favorite so far and I am excited to play unfair and probably bring that to the table with the whole board game group 
The next one is Christmas lights, which this one was so fun as well. And we were thinking that the boys wouldn't like it, but they actually ended up liking it. So I would say that this one and the Santa's Workshop were the best two Christmas games that we played this year. And if you're looking for a Christmas game, I think Christmas lights is a fantastic option and it is very, very affordable. The next one is New York Zoo. I'm gonna put that one under good, not great. I really, 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 really do like it. No one else really likes it that much. But I love the uh, like winning is filling up your entire board and most tile placements games that's not what you're like the goal is not to fill up your entire board like to win and I just think that that is really really fun plus I love like a zoo theme. The next one is Princess Princess Love Letters. I'm gonna put this one into good not great. It's great for travel. It's like a two player only game. It is trick taking but I I I like this one. It's like it's simple trick taking. I just you know, I don't even know if it's trick-taking. Is Love Letter trick-taking? I feel like it has an essence of it. Holly Jolly. I'm going to put this one into So Fun. I'd say it's not comparable to Lights as far as, like, how much I love it. But it was a cute game for Christmas. I would play it again. I'd play it outside of Christmas as well. Um, I don't remember what this one calls, like, Spectrum, something on the lines of that. I'm going to put this one under Fine, but not for me. It was, like, a party game smash up i'm gonna put in don't waste your money i really didn't like smash up i thought i would but i don't even though it's disney paint the roses is another one that i really did not like and then cryptic cafe was probably the most mad probably i don't know if i was more mad with head trip or cryptic cafe because cryptic cafe was also just not fun splendor duel i'm gonna put this one under so fun i prefer it over splendor it's a two-player only game Dice Throne, we have Santa versus Krampus. I'm going to put this one in all-time fave because it's Dice Throne and Christmas. Say less. Um, the Grand Austria Hotel, I'm going to put under So Fun. I think that that one has the ability to make it up to an all-time fave one day. The Ghost and Candy Roll and Fry was a fun little print and play. And I would say that one was really fun. I would play it again next Halloween season. I believe Planted is in here twice. I think she told me that. So we're just going to go ahead and put that also into the Don't Waste Your Money tab. Then we have Zoo Vetus, I believe it is. And this one is also in Don't Waste Your Money. I didn't think that was fun at all. Beer and Bread is so fun. It's a two-player only resource management game. And again, it's another one that has, is like a smaller box. The pack's like such a fun little punch. And I could see myself like wanting to play that like over and over again. Then we have Terraforming Mars, the dice game, which I do like quite a bit. I'm gonna put that under the all-time faves. I would say I like Terraforming Mars itself better but I feel like for something that's a little quicker and easier to digest that the dice game plus I also love dice is and it's like different enough but the same enough and I feel like that's fun so I'm gonna put that in all-time faves and then fit to print I'm gonna put under so fun it's definitely higher up there in the so fun because it's a very unique game and it is like a little anxiety inducing it's also a tile placement game and I love that Fork, um, I'm gonna say don't waste your money. I didn't really like it. The, I don't remember the first, in the footsteps of Darwin. I think I remember this one being like pretty fun or okay-ish. I don't really remember, so I'm gonna put it into good, not great, since I don't remember. Um, your best life is so fun. That's another kind of like life simulation game, but it is a flippin' right, and it's pretty fun. It's, it's a little bit like, cutesy if that makes sense like it's kind of like silly but it's, it's a fun one and I like it potions and spells I actually really like I'm gonna put that one under so fun it's not one that I'm like obsessed with but I would play it and be happy about playing it roll on the range I really like this one as well we're gonna put that under so fun picky eaters I'm gonna put this one under like fine but not for me it's like cute but it's not my fear. I love the art in this and there's a pierogi card. I think that's really fun. Forever Home, I'm going to put that under So Fun. I liked it better than Dog Park. It was like a tile placement kind of game, but there was, it was like, it was really fun and like you got to like complete patterns and stuff. And I think that was cute. Chocolate, I think that this would be good for kids. So for that, I'm going to put it in fine, but not for me. It was cute. I love the graphics, but otherwise it was, it's, oh, it's all right. The next one is Riverside. I'm also going to put that one in fine, but not for me. I just feel like it was like, it just felt like every other flipping or rolling right. And, but it wasn't fun. Like there was like elements to it that I was like, oh, this is kind of like annoying. So not a vibe. 
Exo World Survival, I'm gonna put that under so fun. I'm so excited to play it with a five player account. I think it's gonna be so good. Beard and Beards and Booty, I'm also gonna put into so fun. It was basically if Dice Throne was a roll. It wasn't even a right, it was just like a roll. Which Dice Throne's also just like, well, I guess there's cards. Like a a travelable dice throne. I don't know. I thought it was cute. It's not like my favorite thing in the whole entire world, but I think it was cute for what it was. And then there is Planet X. This one I'm gonna say don't waste your money. I didn't like this one. It'd be good for again kids, I think. Role player I'm gonna put into so fun. I feel like role player has the possibility of going up to an all-time fave. They have so many different expansions and I think they have like a campaign game that I got Hannah. Um oh no this is Cruella. We're gonna move Corella into up here and we're gonna move the other villainous into good but not great. Then we have Roll and Cook. Roll and Cook is gonna go up into an all time fave, which is the most bizarre thing because it's a free game. But y'all, this game is so fun. We've played it every single time we travel. It is resource management roll and write. And you're basically collecting ingredients to make different recipes. There's there's like easy recipes, hard recipes, and then the more you have of each recipe, the like more points you get. It is so fun. And it's so simple, but it's a good one. It's free. Look it up. Roll and Cook, I believe it's called. I think that's what it's called. It's a banger. If you want a link, let me know. Castles of Burgundy. I'm gonna put this one into so fun. Another one that I feel like once we do all of the modules and stuff could go up to all time fave. It's a really good game and the quality of the special edition is another one. Puerto Rico is another one I think could end up being an all time fave. We only played it once. It was very confusing because I didn't watch how to play on it. Um, usually I'm the teacher of the group and the teacher was confused. So that one is it's good. It's a really good game, um, but it's just not an all time fave yet. Um, Small World, I don't think I played this one. I think that's just a Hannah only one. I don't know if there's any games that, I don't think there's any games that I played without Hannah, if I'm trying to think, I don't think so. Wingspan, uh, the Asia expansion. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into good but not great. I didn't really care about the additions of the, of this, like there was not like a lot, it was like more stuff basically. Um, well, it brought out that board that has like the, two pieces. I don't remember which one I like better. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. I'm gonna leave it there. So she go. Um, I'm gonna do fine, not for me. I did get rid of it. Hannah got rid of it to me and then I got rid of it. Uh, Taco Cat Go Cheese Pizza. We're gonna go ahead and put that into So Fun. It is a very simple card game. It's very family friendly, very lot of people friendly. It gets very, very kind of loud and it is laughing all around. So I think that was a surprise for everyone that that one was a banger with the group. Um, then there's Quacks of quite a lot of them. I'm gonna put that one under so fun. I didn't really love it playing it. I liked the idea. I thought it was very unique. I like the like potion-y witchy kind of situation. But I feel like there's parts that were lacking. But then Hannah was like, oh, like, look at these modules and stuff. And, like, look at the further, like, cards. And I was like, okay, I can see these cards being a little bit more tricky, a little more fun. So I'm going to put that one into so fun. And I'll be interested to see my thoughts on it later. Three Sisters. I'm going to put it into good but not great. Just simply because I feel like there's a couple of them that can be moved into, like, good but not great. Maybe I have to, like, look at this then. Ticket to Ride, I'm going to put it into Good Not Great. It's Ticket to Ride. Come on. And then Tiny Towns, I'm going to put it into um, All Time Fave. Because Tiny Towns is Tiny Towns. There's like, it's it's my one true love. And then we have, is it Jabba the Hut? Jabba Hut? Jabba Hut? I don't know. Love Letter. And I'm going to put that one into Good Not Great as well. Now, I feel like I'm like All Time Fave, Good But Not Great. So fun. No, I'm just gonna leave it. I think that this is, I think in my brain that this is the, this is the journey for me. So these are my all time faves from what we played this year. And then these are the ones that I feel like, you know, I wanna play again, I'm happy about it. It's, it's a great time. These ones are like, they're good games, but they're just not like, they're not thrilling me. These ones, I'm just like, I don't wanna play them. I don't really wanna play them. I don't really care about them, but I will play them if I have to and be like a good sport about it. And then these ones I don't wanna play at all. 
like I don't want them I don't have them anymore besides like um gloomy man I just haven't played that one and I also don't think I played small world but that is everything for my tier ranking for the year do you have any of the same favorites all-time faves as me are there any that you think that I'm wrong about and I need to play again let me know in the comments down below definitely check out Hannah's video if it's up already I will leave it linked down below as well and let me know if you want to see us do this again next year otherwise I will talk to y'all in my next video